Hello everyone. Today, we will learn how to convert a PWM signal, that is, pulse width modulation signal to a real analog signal. Generally, RC filters are used, and I will explain the details on how to select the values of each components on what criteria. I will also evaluate the result through actual measurements and analysis in the time and frequency domain respectively. These widely used boards, the Arduino Uno and D1 Mini both provides a function called AnalogWrite. But unlike the name of this function, it actually generates a PWM signal, instead of an analog signal. On average, it can approximate the voltage level of an analog signal, but there are some cases, where this digital signal cannot be used directly. Let's briefly take a review of the PWM signal. The PWM signal adjusts the average voltage level with the duty cycle of the pulse. For example, if the duty cycle is 25%, that is, high level is output for 25% of the entire cycle, it can be transferred to an analog signal of one quarter of VCC, using a low-pass filter. There are various types of low-pass filters, and the filters showing here are some of them using discrete passive elements. The frequency response for each filter, as you can see, have low-pass characteristics, attenuating high-frequency components. This table is a summary of each filter's transfer function, frequency gain, cutoff frequency and step response. For LC filter and RLC filter, the term resonance frequency is used more generally. This indicates the frequency at which resonance occurs due to energy transfer between L and C. Among these filter types, we will take a closer look at the most commonly used RC filter. If we filter the PWM signal using RC filter, a waveform might look like this. Voltage increasing during the high period of the PWM signal, and decreasing during the low period of the PWM signal. In order to make this filtered signal more DC volt likely, we need to reduce the peak magnitude of this signal. But how small do we need to make this magnitude? Making this peak magnitude smaller, the settling time will get longer, which for some applications will not be favorable. Also the values of the components will increase. So I suggest an RC filter which makes this peak magnitude just smaller than a 1 LSB voltage. 1 LSB voltage is the expected amount of voltage change, when we change the PWM step by 1. This represents to 19.5 mV for Arduino Uno. In order to determine the values of R and C based on this condition, we need prior knowledge of several things. First, VPWM, the high-level voltage value of the PWM signal. Also, you need to know the duty cycle and period of the PWM signal, and the total step size of the PWM. The example shown in the table is a value corresponding to Arduino. Based on these parameters, the peak magnitude of the analog signal can be calculated with the following formula. And as I mentioned before, one LSB voltage is calculated as follows. Calculating the required RC value based on this formula, we obtain a RC value of 0.13. In other words, the multiplied value of the resistor and capacitor used in the RC filter should exceed 0.13. This is also the time constant of the RC filter. The duty cycle value of 50% is used for the calculation, since this maximizes the peak magnitude of the filtered signal. After determining the RC value, first select the R value. The resistance value should be selected considering the source impedance and load impedance of the filter. If the resistor value is too large or small, the filter characteristics can be altered due to the influence of these impedances. In most cases, a resistor value of 1 kilo ohm to tens of kilo ohms can be used. In this demo, I used 13.3 kilo ohm as the resistor value and 10 microfarad as the capacitor value. As a result, the cutoff frequency will be about 1.2 Hz, and the PWM signal component of 490 Hz can be attenuated by 52 dB. A PWM signal of 980 Hz from pin 6 of the Arduino Uno, can be attenuated by 58 dB. This is the test configuration for testing the RC filter. RC filter is connected to the breadboard. The output of the RC filter is connected to an oscilloscope for the time and frequency domain analysis. And for linearity check, I connected the output to a zero pin, the ADC input. 
The PWM signal will be connected from pin 3 or pin 6 of Arduino Uno, respectively for comparing the result. This is the result of the PWM signal from pin 3 of Arduino Uno. The PWM value used here is 164, which corresponds to a duty cycle of 64%. The frequency is 490 Hz, and the period is approximately 2 milliseconds. In the frequency domain plot, you can see the dominant component is located at 490 Hz, and at an integer multiple, the harmonic components are present. If you look at the output of the RC filter, an analog signal corresponding to 2.8 volts is observed in the time domain, and in the frequency domain, you can also see the component present at 490 Hz, but attenuated by about 52 decibels, complying to the design of the filter. The output of pin 6 has 980 Hz frequency, as you can see in the frequency domain. After filtering, the 980 Hz component can be seen to be attenuated by 58 decibels. You can see that a cleaner analog output can be obtained by using a PWM signal having a higher frequency. Let's look at the linearity of the analog signal. In the figure on the left, the relationship between the PWM value and the analog signal is represented by a straight line, in other words, it has linear relationship. Also, if you look at the differential nonlinearity, it does not exceed 1 LSB, so the design of the RC filter seems to be well done. For the integral nonlinearity however, the accumulated error increases as the PWM value increases, and does exceed a 1 LSB error which can be easily compensated by multiplying a small amount of value before applying the PWM value. Now let's look at the linearity of the 980 Hz PWM signal from pin 6. As you can see, the PWM and analog values are very linear as shown in the left figure. Also, notice that all the nonlinearity error does not exceed 1 LSB. This is because the 980 Hz PWM signal from pin 6, is more attenuated by the RC filter, compared to the 490 Hz PWM signal from pin 3. I would like to summarize this video by showing you the formula for selecting the RC value that we used earlier. I hope this video helps you in the design of your own RC filter. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.